Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Home Builders Institute board member and former United States Army Chief of Staff, General George Casey. Thank you. Good morning. That was a little weak. It's great to be with you here in Vegas. Now, you're probably asking yourselves, what the heck is a general doing on the board of the Home Builders Institute? And I must say, when John Corson asked me about 18 months ago to join the board, I had similar thoughts. In my retirement, I remained committed to ensuring that the men and women that have served this country so well have the training and support that they need to have productive careers outside the military. So for me, joining an organization that was already a national leader in construction training for more than 40 years seemed like a good way to help veterans. And I, and I must say, I, I haven't been disappointed. HBI has already established a veterans training program in Florida that is producing skilled veteran workers for the workforce. And you're going to meet some of them here in a few minutes. They'll also be opening another program in Fort Stewart, Georgia, with a grant from the Bob Woodruff Foundation. Now, this grant will enable them to train transitioning service men and women for the workforce before they actually leave the service. You know, it's, it's striking to me that there are better than 150,000 unfilled skilled labor positions in the construction industry. And in the last Department of Labor unemployment report, there were almost 500,000 unemployed veterans. 40% of those came from the current conflicts. We can do better than that as a country. You know, it may not seem like it to you, but the men and women of our armed forces have been at war for 13 and a half years. So the fact that we were not attacked at home for more than a decade after September 11th isn't a coincidence. That security was bought by the service and sacrifices of the men and women of our armed forces. So you can say that they deserve our support, uh, and they do. But this generation of veterans, just like those before them, have already made a difference in our world. They know how to work as members of teams. They have good values and work ethics. They understand discipline. And they know how to solve complex problems. When they have the right training, they're just the kind of employees that you're looking for. So I'd say hire vets because it's good for business, not just because they deserve it. Now, <clears throat> the federal government will never be able to solve all the challenges facing our veterans. They need help from all of us. For sure, states have an important role, but we will not succeed without public-private partnerships like those that HBI is forming around the country. We can all make a difference and help ourselves in the process. Now, let me introduce three great soldiers who've already benefited, benefited from the HBI veterans training programs. And I'd ask you, please hold your applause until we, I get all three of them up here. First, from Orlando, Florida, Specialist Tim Ephraim, United States Army. Tim's 14 years on active service included 10 years in the United States Army and four with the United States Navy. He's married, no children, and he completed the PAC training last March. Second, also from Orlando, Florida, Staff Sergeant Fabrice Meznej, United States Army. Fabrice enlisted in the Army following his graduation from high school, and his 18 years of service included combat tours in Desert Storm, Iraqi Freedom, and Enduring Freedom. He's married, has one child, and is, or is currently enrolled in the training program. And lastly, from Jacksonville, Florida, Sergeant Roland Byron, United States Army. 
Sergeant Byron enlisted in the Army following his graduation from high school. His nine years of service include a tour in Afghanistan. He is single and, oh, by the way, looking for a date while he is here in Vegas. <laughs> he completed his PAC training last year, and he has applied for an electrical apprenticeship in Jacksonville. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you for that very warm reception. You can, you can breathe a little easier. Yeah. Now, to commemorate their transition from soldiers to home builders, I'd like to bring out John Corson, the president and CEO of the Home Builders Institute, to present a certificate of training to these great soldiers. Welcome, John. Great. Now, I'd like to ask Sergeant Byron to say a few words about his training and about what it meant to him. Uh, thank you, General. Uh, thank you all for this uh, very prestigious honor. Um, glad to be up here today. And uh, I guess I'll start with my genesis in the HBI. It was two years ago in January 2013. I started the training to focus on gaining some trade skills and becoming proficient with those skills in the workplace. Uh, one thing I didn't know was not that HBI was just going to build me with these skills, but personally. Uh, HBI works in building not just better builders, but better people. And these better people is what makes a better community. So I'm proud to be a part of HBI, and I look forward to continuing the HBI and the future of this industry. Thank you again. These three soldiers represent the men and women of the armed forces, the best armed forces in the world. They've been at war for over 13 years, and they've never lost a battle. That's an accomplishment that is unparalleled in the history of warfare. <laughs> Properly prepared, they can move this country forward, but everyone must do their part. And in the building industry, it all starts here. Thank you all very much for your support.